Before we get into looking at binomial expansion, um, the first thing you need to make sure you know is Pascal's triangle, which you may have come across before or you may not. So Pascal's triangle starts off with a 1 in the top and then followed by two ones. And then as you build up, these numbers come from adding the top two previous ones together. So the three here is a sum of the two and the one. The two is a sum of the one and the one. And the ones continue down the outside. So the next row would start with a one because the ones go in both directions. Then we have one and three make four. Three and three make six. Three and one make four. And then we've finally got a one. Okay, so if we go for another row, we have one, then one and four is five, four and six is ten, six and four is ten, four and one is five, and then finally a one. Okay, and one more row, one, six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen, six, and one. So it is going to be very important that you can write out part of Pascal's triangle for as many rows as you need, okay, um, when you're in the exam, okay? So it doesn't take too long to get down to this many rows, for example. It wouldn't take too long to do another couple if you need to. If you needed to go much further than that, then the Pascal's triangle does get unmanageable, okay? And I'm going to show you a way around that in, later in this section in the coming videos.